Hey everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In this video we're going to be talking about jewelry and what to be looking for in trends or how to find out. I guess I get this question a lot, like I picked up a lot of jewelry, how do I know where to start listing, what should I begin with? Um, and so I got this idea yesterday because I got some magazines in the mail and as I was looking through the magazines I started noticing a a theme, a trend um, in things that were kind of across all of them and so I thought that it would be good to go check out, hey, you know, this is obviously something that is trending for the fall. Um, let's go see what else is trending for the fall. So when I start listing my jewelry because I've been taking a break because of our move, I'll know kind of where to focus my attention because if you're anything like me, you've got a ton of unlisted jewelry that you need to list. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I saw in the catalogs. And then I pulled up some sites. And this is something that you could apply to anything, whether you're selling jewelry or shoes or purses or just to find out, you know, or even if you're making shirts for merch, you know, or print on demand, um, ways to go through and look at what's trending to kind of help you focus your attention for the upcoming months. Um, but I am live, so if you are new here, welcome. I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you are interested in coming to hang out with everybody in the chat, then hit the little bell so you're notified when I go live. And I want to say hey in the chat real quick. Hey, a k 2 red thanks so much. Hi, Amy. Hello, Mark. Thank you. Hi, Robin and Mary. Hello, Becky Chick. Thanks for coming to hang out. Hi, Nancy. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so I got these catalogs. Um yesterday and I, honestly some of them I'm not even sure why because I don't, I don't shop there but um so I got this one from Coldwater Creek, Garnet Kill and then of course James Avery I do shop there um but what I was noticing I went through and um tagged a few pages actually Garnet Hill didn't have as many as I thought I was looking more at colors um but in the Coldwater Creek one I was noticing no, I tagged the pages and a couple of other extra pages got folded down. Um, so I was noticing like medallion type necklaces like that. I'm um, almost native style. Um, and then there were some other ones. Hang on, I really did do my homework. I noticed quite a few. Oh, thanks guys. That were like um, branches or I don't know, like trees and nature, that kind of thing, leaves. Um, there were quite a few that had to do with like um, fall leaves. Hang on. And hang on. That's a chunky one. Like a chunky, chunky multicolored one. That some of them are kind of one off, but some of them I saw themes throughout. Ah, uh, here we go. Um so this one had a double double duty. It was not only just like fall leaves and stuff, it was also multi-metal. So there's like you see gold, silver, all the different colors, right? So, um, and that was something else I noticed with James Avery, which, you know, James Avery is going to be popular a lot, all the time, but as, as a person who gets James Avery catalogs and looks them over, I notice when there are things that have changed or when there's new stuff. Um, so one of the things I noticed that they always have done a bit of mixed metal, but I've noticed a bit more of that. And I know I saw a mixed metal one in here, which is what, what led this off. Hang on. There was a mixed metal necklace in this one. So you can, oh, here we go. <laughs> I was like, that's, okay. So this like hammered metal and then like seeing the gold and the silver mixed together. And while this is, you know, some people have always liked it, I'm no noticing a bit more of it right now. Um, I don't really do games and DVDs. <laughs> not, not really. Um, but then also I noticed here like cameos on James Avery. That's kind of new. I haven't noticed those before. And then, um, I feel like I'm saying um a lot again. I am coming to it. I thought I was coming to it. So like big, like um, silver hoops and things like that. I, I saw some more of that in a minute. You'll see. So just to, of course, the cats are going to go bananas right now. Go for it, cats. Why not? Um, okay, so I'll stop there with the catalogs. But... Um, what are the James Avery markings on his jewelry? Well, Pamela, it's got a few different ones. Um, older ones might say Avery, and then some of them will say um, J.A. and have this, like, candelabra. Let's see if you can see it on that one. Let me see it on that piece right there. There's, like, a little candelabra 
certainly there's another one in here somewhere that has it. But he's got this like candelabra, which of course I'm not able to find a picture of right now. There's the mixed metal again. You would think they would have a picture of the of the candelabra somewhere. Anyway, um, so sometimes it says J.A. or J. Avery, and then it has this little, I can't find a picture of the candelabra, sorry. Okay. Oh, cool. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> so um, let me flip over and show you some of the, the search that I did. So, oh, this is going to come up in a minute because that's something new for me. So I just did a search for 2018 um, fall jewelry trends. Let me move the chat up since it's caught up with us now. Okay. And here is what I did. I pulled up like the the first few, like Vogue and you know, 13 trends, biggest trends, and then I'll open them up in different tabs and then I'll take a look at each one and kind of try to see what what overlaps, right? So that gives me an idea of things that are going to be seen on, on multiple channels. Now if you know this about me, I don't really follow. It. I don't personally dress for trends, but there are people that really do. So there are people that are looking at this going, okay, this is what I need to, to be prepared for in the fall and maybe in the winter. It's my afternoon caffeine time. Okay, so, hey, everybody. So on the Vogue one, um, one of the things that I noticed that was also across a couple of the other sites that I looked at um, were these like big ginormous earrings like ones that when I have jewelry jars and I find them I'm like whoa those are commitment earrings those are really big um, you got to really like know yourself if you're gonna wear earrings like that so um, that might be something that when I'm looking back through my jewelry when I start listing again I might start pulling out some of those if I'm gonna list them soon um, do I find that selling jewelry tends to take longer when it comes to researching price? Not personally, because it's sort of the same thing that I do for, it's the same process for everything, you know, that I just kind of research. I'll do a Google search, I'll do an eBay search, I'll do an Etsy search, and then see what, what pops up. Okay, so these earrings, I'm trying to remember if this is a slidey one or a scrolling one. Uh, fall leaves, this is one that I saw in the catalogs as well, as well as on different sites. So big leaves and, and stuff. Here she's got the mixed match earrings. That's coming. Um, yeah, she has. Uh, Wild West. Okay, so I saw in that um, catalog, I saw that like medallions and like feathers and like metal feathers and things like that. So there's that. Um, I saw chunky chains on a couple of the sites. And... This is the only one where I saw this reappropriation of everyday objects. I didn't see that anywhere else, but hey, okay. Um, orbiting stones, I didn't see it on a whole lot of other places. Statement necklaces, I did. Like big necklaces, right? So that is one that I saw. The chunky bracelets, the chunky bangles, I saw on quite a few different sites as well. Uh, logo mania, I'd be careful about logos, it, you know, especially if you've got something that's a knockoff. So, pardon me. Um, yeah, as far as logos go, even if you know it's faux. Okay, this was new for me. I I would have called this like a rigid metal choker. I didn't realize that these were called torques. So I did a little research because everybody, you know, never know any everything. Nobody knows everything, right? Um, so I was like, oh my gosh, this was a really good mm, keyword that we need to know, right? If we're listing these like chokers that aren't like up here kind of chokers but like the heavy metal ones that sit just like at the base of your throat um so yeah i did a little research torque also spelled torque or torque is a rigid large rigid or stiff neck ring in metal made either as a single piece or from strands twisted together the great majority are open at the front although some had a hook and ring closure right so the there's that i like i say i never had heard it called a torque before. Maybe you had, but I hadn't. Um, so yeah, that's another one. I know I've got some of these upstairs that I could list. And two, uh, an, a good keyword for this choker, rigid torque necklace, choker, etc. cetera. Um, body jewelry. So I did see, see that, um, the one on her hand. I saw something like that, but more like an arm wrap on, in the James Avery one. <clears throat> um, 80s is something I have seen across a lot of these 
is like 80s earrings and um, brooches and things like that. So, um, so that's something to, I know I've got a lot of 80s style stuff up there, so for sure. Uh, gold hoops, I think that's kind of always extraordinary earrings. Those are those big, um, big earrings. And also on a couple of the sites, that's the same one, I saw a um, mix match earrings. So we'll get into talking about that too. So kind of same deal, like that's what I do. I'll go through, look and see what else I see on site, on other sites. And like enamel, I didn't see it anywhere else. So I don't know if that's just, you know, <laughs> you're trying to make fetch a thing over here, who to wear. And it's just, okay, and this is what I did see, these big long chains. But I, it kind of goes hand in hand with those big, like big earrings that I'm seeing across all of the different sites. Y'all let me know. Hit the thumbs up. Let me know if this is useful for you guys or if you're like, eh, I could do this on my own. Well, you could totally do this on your own. But it's more fun with friends, right? <laughs> um, so, okay, another one I did see, not so much Oscar de la Renta, but more like, um, well, that's not exactly nautical. Nautical and then like pearls, but not traditional pearls. Uh, I'll have to see if I can. Yeah, like this, kind of like pearls in unusual ways. So like this. Right? So there's the big chains again, statement necklaces. Tell me if I'm going too fast. I don't want to sit here and bore you to death with all this research. But this is what I was doing earlier. I was like, you know what? Let's take this party on the road. Let's make it live. Um, so brooches was another one. That's kind of going hand in hand with the 80s stuff. And what, from what I was seeing, it was like big brooches, like big ones. So, oh, good, good. Thanks. Um, so yeah, mixed match earrings were ones that I saw. And what I was thinking about was, you know, I, especially from jewelry jars, I get a lot of earrings that are mixed match. I know Debbie um, in the in Texas Gals Jewelry Lover, she's one of the admins in there. She has done single earring lots to sell, and I'll have to get her to talk about it in the group, like how she may have already, how she lots them up and how she chooses what to put together, and because then people can mix match their own if they want to have like eight to choose from, or you know, if you've got some, they're like, oh, these kind of go together, but they're not, mm, you know, this is a pineapple and this is a palm tree. You know, they're kind of the same style, so maybe I'll mix match those and just make your own, like, mix match earrings, right? Um, so there's that. This was, there was a little bit of gold, like, spirally stuff here and there, but this is the more kind of mixed match because they're not exactly the same, you see. They're similar, but not exactly, you know big earrings. At least, oh, that's the mix match again. Mix match and big. She got the double whammy. This is another one I saw on a couple sites. The shell, like nautical type stuff. Not exactly nautical, like not anchors and things, but more like shells and I don't know how to describe it. Here, sea, sea jewelry. Maybe that's how you describe it. Okay, so kind of going through those big, big old earrings. <clears throat> and then on this site, again, was this a scrolling one? There were some that were like you have to scroll down, and then there were some that had like a slideshow that you have to go through. Um, so, yeah, the big chains, that's the big chains again. Um, hang on. I feel like I'm, I need some clothes, girl. There's some more of the, well, I feel like this is not quite the one I'm looking for. Uh, okay, so yeah, autumn leaves I've seen lots of different places. Chunky chains I've seen, I think this is the second or maybe third site. The big, big statement necklaces, mega size jewelry, yeah, ginormous jewelry. And I saw bro like one that had brooches, and the brooches were all really big brooches. Um, so cuffs, single earring. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so there's that. So then um, I won't go through any more of these because this might be boring you. I don't know. Um, but then what I do is I go over to eBay. And now this this can go for eBay or Etsy. If you're selling on Etsy, um, the earrings or jewelry needs to be vintage unless you're selling it as a supply. Um, so keep that in mind. And I don't know, what, what is vintage now? 1998 or 1999 or before. So you're pretty good with most things. You missed the wraparound belt, Kelly says. Um, hang on, let me check the chat before I jump into searches because I feel like, oh, I just did not. Your dad used to call those big earrings fishing lures, Nancy says. Oh, you love the feathers and the mixed metals. Cool, cool. Yeah. Hello. Um, doo, doo, doo. Oh, good. 
What prices have you bought jewelry jars? My goodwill have seen them are oh, all nothing lower than a hundred. Oh yeah. Um. Well, yeah, and I, I, I get them in bags too. I'm an equal opportunity jewelry jar, jewelry bag. Doesn't matter to me. Um. I don't normally like to pay more than forty dollars for one, but I, I since we moved, I haven't even been looking. I have some upstairs that I haven't even unjarred yet. Um. But if unless I see something really good in it or. I'm jonesing for a new one and it's like 60 bucks, but I have paid, I think 70 may have been the most. I bought one in Portland, but it was huge. So I, I did buy that. What do those large earrings do to the earlobes? Hopefully they're not too heavy, right? Um, <laughs> hopefully they're not too, too heavy. Okay. So here's what I did. I did a search on eBay, uh, fall leaves, jewelry, and then I search by uh, price the highest and buy it now because I don't normally do auctions. And sometimes things go for way cheaper. So um, I'm looking at these. Some of them are like here's designer unsigned. It went, I don't know, I have to do a search to see how much it went for. But they listed it for $70. Um, this is, you know, Lunch at the Ritz, which is a good brand that people like to buy. They're really gaudy kind of style. Um, but it gives me a good idea for what people are willing to pay money for, you know. Um, so here's this one. It's got this big kind of like statement medallion type necklace, which goes with the fall and the, the big statement necklaces for sure. And like little, is this a brooch? Yeah, little brooch, signed KC, um, 40 bucks, you know. So what I was noticing was like some of them, which were like really bright enamel painted ones, weren't going for quite as much as ones that were more metallic or metal mixed with a little like enamel or paint like this one generally amber is that amber or those little oh they're rhinestones okay so something like that might be cool let's see i didn't look at all of these real super close because i thought i'm gonna do this with you guys with you guys all right so here i mean as you can see you get you get the idea so these are all fall leaves. Well, that's kind of cool with the black. I personally would have sold it for more, but I don't know. I tend to price hot on the higher end and then just wait for the, the bright buyer because I'm not in too much of a hurry to make, make it sell. I would say after a certain amount of time, I might consider lowering the price or taking the offer. I do best offers. So pardon me again. Okay, so this was my search for, let me get back to the top. Um, big dangle earrings and what I was doing I was trying to scroll down past the Chanel and you know real gold and things like that to get into like cost I guess I could put costume jewelry up there things that are gonna be more not designer brands and things so I mean if you look at these ones vintage silver gold plate they're like pearl paving <laughs> big ball bead earrings um, so I'll look here for one, the picture, and see what it is, see what price they're, they're asking for it. But then also some of the keywords that they use, because some of these on the big earrings, I don't know if it was on this one or the next one, they were calling them like stage earrings. Um, somebody even put drag on them for some of the really big, big gaudy ones, you know, like, like for a drag show, you know. Um, but now I guess the, all the girls are wearing them. Uh, so here again, like big runway pearls. I've seen a few like this, you know. Okay, keep scrolling. Big pearls. I'm noticing big pearls, Baroque pearls. I saw, I've seen tassels too. This is something else I've seen quite a few of. These tassel earrings, there's those. There's these tassels. I've seen some other metal tassels, um, maybe on a different search. But I've seen quite a few different tassel earrings. Okay, then this search was, it keeps jumping back and forth. I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that. Okay, so this was the mix match earrings. A lot of the ones on this search are Betsy Johnson because she does that. She, you know, she has ones that are automatically mixed for you. But like I was saying earlier, you could just make your own mixed set um, if you've got some that tend to go together. I'm trying to see, like here's like a Hawaiian, like a hula girl and the flower. Even though they are Betsy Johnson, you could do something like that on your own. You know, if it's an anchor and a whatever, nautical. Hello, everybody. Hi, coming. If you're just coming in, hello. 
Um, all right, so then this is 80s earrings. Again, I searched highest first um, just because, and again, let me scroll past. Oh, this is something else. On maybe one or two of the sites, they were mentioning Lucite stuff, you know, 80s and Lucite, um, but I didn't see it on a whole lot of, 80s I did, Lucite not so much I, on other sites, but I am seeing, I was seeing quite a few Lucite earrings under this search, so that's something to keep in mind, that if you've got some Lucite hanging around here like so, uh, it might be time to get them listed if you're considering it. So big statement dangles, knots and pearls and gold tone. So big old statement earrings. Let's see. And I, there were more tassels. I just have to find them. Laurel birch always. I like selling laurel birch. Pardon me. Talk about the 80s. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. I can't tell if that's the fan or the cat making that squeaking noise. Okay. So there was that. And then I was looking up torque jewelry because that was a new term for me so if let me I'm worried I haven't clicked on the images what if there's something that I don't want to see <laughs> normally I try to try to do a, re, a bit of research first alright so there we go so these like metal kinda hangs at the base of this the neck sometimes opening in the front but not always kind of necklace I have to figure out what that sound is it's gonna drive me bonkers all right, so there's that, and this one, okay, so I was doing a search for torque necklaces. There were not as many as I would have thought on the solds. Do you guys hear that? Is it a cat? I think one of the cats is going nuts over there. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to have to call it in a second because it's going to drive me, drive me nuts until I figure out what it is. All right, so um, I'm just wondering if maybe some people don't know, like I didn't, that that was another keyword you could use for a necklace like that. So I'm sure there's more out there that you could, um, that could probably get found with that extra keyword in there. Um, oh, okay, I'll check that out, Dan. Thank you. Two different covers. Yeah, mixed match, totally. I remember that in the high school, we would, or even just like, so we would wear two pairs of socks. Okay, I'm dating myself. But you would wear like a blue, if your outfit was like blue and red, you would wear a blue sock and a red sock with your shoes. And then on one of them, you would have the blue on top and the red on bottom. And then you'd reverse it on the other shoe. I don't know if you remember that. Whatever. It's the 80s, man. Um, all right, so I hope you guys found this video helpful. This is how I was looking up what I should focus on because I do have quite a bit of unlisted jewelry and I was trying to figure out where I should start. Saw these catalogs, and that really got me thinking, it might be my cat. Yeah, I'm going to have to go check, so we'll find out. Okay, so I appreciate you guys coming to hang out. Um, go over there and hit that thumbs up button, and leave a comment and let me know what kind of stuff's been selling for you lately, or if you've noticed any other trends that might be going on out there. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, everybody.